We talked to Blaine Gambert, Tony Baselli this morning. He kept using the word, I'm comfortable. It's comforting to be in this kind of a system, in this kind of an offensive culture. Well, I think you'd be comfortable, too, if you got an offseason where you actually could learn the playbook before you were the starter. He came in last year, Kevin. One week later, he's starting against the uh, – in the preseason up in Buffalo – excuse me, New England, and it kind of just – snowballed after that during the regular season this year he told us by the time they were in OTAs he knew the entire offense and now he is so comfortable because he knows what to expect so after the Giants punt after seven plays at the 11 yard line Gabbert begins things first and 10 with Jennings in the backfield and right to work goes the Missouri quarterback and he's whacked and he overshoots his tight end he was hit hard, and coming up the middle was Justin Tuck, who said, welcome to 2012, incomplete pass. And that's one of the things we talked about in the, in the, in the pregame show, is that this offensive line's <laughs> got to protect this kid. Everyone blames the kid for not sitting in there and not making good throws. Well, you got Cameron Bradfield starting a right tackle for the first uh, time this uh, preseason was just moved there two days ago. Evan Britton, the left guard, he gets beat inside by Justin Tuck. There was no flinch in Blaine Gabbard. He hung in there, but it's hard to complete a pass when you're getting hit in your ear hole as you're throwing it. Thomas comes in as the slot receiver, second down and 10 from the 11. And Jennings to about the 16 yard line, gain of five. Tuck, among others, in there. Some shoving after the play. We got Britton on the left side playing the guard. Monroe is at the left tackle. Brad Meester, the ever reliable center, is still there when Arian has talked about Bradfield at that right tackle position. So, as you mentioned in the open, Tony, not one practice have we seen with these skill players right here. We talked about Jennings. Shorts is now playing in that position. Blackman will be the two receiver, and LaRon Robinson is the $7 million a year wide receiver coming from the Dallas Cowboys. It's third down and five. Bradfield had a nice block, and they go outside with the catch made at the 23-yard line. And across the way, that is Robinson with the grab. It's a pickup of seven. It is a first down for Jacksonville. Kevin, you did two, you did two Monday night games last year for the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I know we talked about it. Blaine never looked comfortable on this first play. On this first third down, he drops back, gets his feet underneath him. His footwork is so much better than last year and very fluid and throws a strike to Laurent Robinson. That's very encouraging. I know it's early, but just seeing that comfort, it's what we talked about a second ago. He looks comfortable. Cecil Shorts, one of the receivers out there, first and 10. First possession for Jacksonville and Jennings. Bradfield with a nice block, and in the secondary, he flies and knocked out of bounds near the 40. He was hit on the play by Antrell Roll, who led this team in tackles. A 17-yard run, another first down for the Jaguars. Nobody is going to tell you that Rashad Jennings is better than Maurice Jones-Drew. Maurice Jones-Drew, the leading rusher last year, but I'll tell you one thing about Rashad Jennings. He's faster than Maurice. He has big playability. You saw him get around the corner, and he's dangerous down the sideline. Pierre Paul, number 90 there at the defensive end. He was a first-team all-pro player 16 sacks a season ago rivers was a former number one pick by cincinnati kiwanuka on the other side and the secondary strong with a lot of speed back there including webster and amokamura it's first and ten pitch out for the first time to the left side with shorts blocking for jennings it is a gain of four on the play and we'll spot him at the 43. Nice play right there. They pulled Eugene Monroe. He got outside, and they had Greg Jones on the lead block, and they're going to come right at us. Watch 33, and he just takes Prince of Makamura and just drives him into the ground. Nothing better than that, Kevin. Uh, as an old offensive lineman, I love when that defense is at the back of their jersey gets nice and nice and grimy. And you let him know about it, too. Absolutely. Yeah. I jump back on him and let him know that what's going to happen all day long. Second down. And a long six, short seven for Gabbert. Deflected and incomplete. In the vicinity there was Corey Webster. He led him in interceptions a season ago. You know, that just goes to show you, playing Gabbert 6'5", and everyone talks about, you know, the taller quarterbacks, and you have guys like Drew Brees who are barely six feet. At the end of the day, as a quarterback, you have to learn to throw through lanes. I don't care how big and tall you are. These defensive linemen for the – New York Giants, you got Jason Pierre-Paul, his reach is probably 10 feet long. He reaches up there. You're not going to throw it over him. you got to find lanes and get the ball through the defense. 
Giants with four in the secondary, third down and six. Gabbert, another first down pass. Wide receiver Mike Thomas, led him in receptions a year ago, picks up 11 yards, so on the drive, he's had Robinson for a first down pass of seven, Jennings had a run of 17, and that catch right there, good for 12 and a first. Just seeing Mike Thomas work in the slot, that's where he's most comfortable, that's where he's gotten back to this year, he was outside, not as comfortable in that position. Just working against the nickel, a little simple out route, and the pretty thing about that, the ball's thrown on time and in the right place where only Mike Thomas is gonna get it. Seeing these first downs, if you're a Jaguar fan, is very welcoming. Didn't see a lot of drives like this last year. Giants are going with five in the secondary now, with a first and ten for Jacksonville on their first possession. Jennings. Not a whole lot there. Chase Blackburn from the linebacking crew among many, and a, a gain of two on the play. You know, we talk about Jennings, and I mentioned before he had a 17-yard run earlier on this drive. He missed all of last season with the knee injury, so he's kind of coming back fresh and with a lot to prove. And this is what he needs to do, Kevin, is he gets into the, between the tackles. Everyone knows his explosiveness outside. We saw that earlier. And I think what everyone wants to see, how does he handle between the tackles? That's where Mojo was so good, is so good. He was good in the scrimmage, Rashad, of getting those pads down low, and that's going to be critical. On second down and eight, quick slant dropped by Robinson. Going inside. Where's that for Shorts? That was Cecil Shorts maybe going in for him. Incomplete pass. I don't, know if, I don't know if it was a drop, like you said, Kevin, or if it was a great job by Kenny Phillips of getting in there. Excuse me. A combination Kenny. of both. Yeah, it was a combination of both. It was Corey Webster, excuse me. And it was a bang-bang play. It's one if you're on offense, you want your guy to catch. Right. If you're on defense, you say, hey, great play. Way to knock it down. And Shorts has kind of moved up in the lineup he's, here a little he's bit. He's played too. very yeah. well in, the pre in, the, uh, in camp so far. Third down and eight. They need the 34. Gabbert, nice touch. Thomas. Tackled by Amakamura. The catch and run to the 12. A 31-yard pickup and a first down. Make him, uh, yep, first and 10 from the 12. We talked about protection. Look at the pocket. Look at all the room he has right there. And then Mike Thomas working the deep out. And that's nice to see. Mike Thomas has actually struggled the first two weeks of camp, especially week one. He was not himself dropping balls, didn't look good running routes. He played better in the scrimmage, and he's just improved all week, and he's carrying it over into this pre first preseason game. Colin Clority is in. He is in motion right now. Jennings remains first and 10 from the 12. And Rashad Jennings, nice hole on that right side, digging his way near the five. Brought down in the secondary by Phillips, a burst of six. So a nice balance here of running pass for the Jaguar offense. And they, Mike Malarkey said, listen, we're going to throw the ball more. You have to in this league, Kevin. We see it every week around the league. The teams that are successful nowadays are teams who can put it in the air. I mean, we're looking at the New York Giants Super Bowl champs. They were 32nd in the league in rushing last year. Jason Spitz has come in and checking out has been Meester. Second down and short, Jennings to about the three. Actually, that's uh, John Estes. John, John Estes, Estes, excuse me. He's the backup center, and Mike told us today during practice, I mean, during our uh, pregame meeting that Brad Meester would be limited. 13-year vet, more starts than anybody else, and we're looking at the inside look. Good movement by Uche Winari, number 77, against Linville John, uh, Joseph just moving him out. But Brad's been limited all camp, not because of injury, just because Mike Malarkey says, listen, 13 years, this guy's a great, a very good player. He knows what to do. We're going to give him a couple reps and get him out and get John Estes in there. Zach Potter has taken the field, third down and one. Gabbert, touchdown. Cecil Shorts beating Prince of Nakamura. A three-yard touchdown pass. A perfect pass into the corner. Very nice touch. Gabbert scans the field, finds Cecil Shorts, and he goes up and gets both feet in bounds. Two guys last year that were highly criticized, hooking up for the first touchdown of the preseason. And I wonder, Kevin, if some of the criticism after a, and I know it's only one drive, but seeing what Blaine Gabbert was able to do in command of that offense, you wonder if some of that criticism maybe starts quieting down just a little bit. A long way to go, 